It's June, it's summer, and we are entering an important production period for markets like U.S. corn and U.S. soybeans. And that means it's a time of year when we see some really strong seasonal price trends. This month, we'll take a look at how you can use a systematic trading strategy to analyze the seasonal trends that we see in agriculture market futures. Strategy of the month, June 2024, seasonal trading for markets like corn and wheat and soybeans. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research and this is our 32nd consecutive strategy of the month video. And because it's summer, it is a great time to talk about trading seasonals. Now you might remember that we've already talked about trading seasonal patterns on this channel in a video called Trading Price Seasonals, which you can click here to watch. But it's a good time of year to revisit that code and that trading approach and take a look at the signals that those trading systems are sending us for agriculture markets like corn and soybeans and wheat. So as we always do with these strategy of the month videos, we'll start with the full system code logic. We'll add that code to a commodity market chart and then we'll wrap up with some performance statistics to see if this trading approach makes sense. So let's get started. Let's jump into the fun stuff and look at the full system code logic for our seasonal trading approach. Now we are going to do something unique and instead of building this code in the easy language development environment in TradeStation, we are just going to build this code in Excel. Now the reason we're doing that is because we want to use this Excel equation to feed off of values in column C. So to test different start dates. What this code is going to be doing is it's going to be testing if it makes sense to sell short because we know that there is generally a bearish trend during the U.S. summer months as we price out a production risk premium. We're going to be testing if it makes sense to sell short before or after these different June 1st dates going back in time, going back all the way to 2020. So what we can do is we can simply take this code from Excel, open up our development environment, paste it in and confirm our strategy. So how does this trading system work? This trading system is testing if a date crosses over. So if a date ends just after June 1st of 2024, 2023, 2022, 2021, etc., the system is selling short the next bar at market. So the system is selling short a market like corn or wheat or soybean futures and holding that short position for a certain number of days. In this case, it's starting with a value of 90. So the system will get short on June 1st of each year and hold that trading system for 90 trading sessions if we're testing this on daily bars. And because this is a systematic trading strategy, we can add this trading system to a corn chart and we start to see how this system works. The system gets short in early June. It holds holds that position for a few months and repeats that over and over again through time. The system is constantly getting short and trying to take advantage of the generally bearish trend that we see in corn futures during those summer months. And one of the advantages of using a platform like TradeStation for this analysis is that we can optimize this system. We don't need to just assume a start date of June 1st. We can test different start dates. We can start a few weeks before June 1st. We can test that until a start date of a few weeks after June 1st. So 20 sessions before, 20 sessions after. We can also control and optimize how long we stay in those trades. So we can stay in that short position for anywhere from 10 sessions all the way up until 90 sessions. We can optimize all that. And our optimization tests are done running. And if we sort 
by net profit, we can see that historically, based on data since 2000, the most profitable approach has actually been to short corn futures nine sessions after June 1st, so about mid-June, and hold that short position for 78 trading sessions. That gives us an equity curve that looks like this. So this has generally been a profitable approach to trading corn futures is to sell in mid-June and again, hold that short position for 78 trading sessions. Now, two things I want to make sure to point out here is this system does have drawdowns. This system does not have a stop loss. It doesn't have any risk management. Its only exit is to get out after a certain number of bars, in this case, days, because we're using daily bars. Other thing I wanna point out is that we are using a custom contract. A lot of times on this channel, we use the continuous contract, but in this case, we are using a custom contract that points to the December contract. So this system only trades December corn futures. We could test that on different futures contracts, but in this case, you don't wanna have to be rolling your contracts. You should just be choosing a static contract like the September contract or the December or the March contract. Now, this simple seasonal trading system for corn that sells short corn futures in mid-June and closes that short position 78 trading sessions later sometime in mid-October has shown that it's consistently profitable. This system has made positive profits in 19 of the past 23 years. That's an 83% win rate. And the good news is we can apply this selling short seasonal trading approach to other US row crop markets. For example, in the Chicago wheat market, this selling short seasonal trading approach has worked in 18 of the past 23 years. In Kansas wheat futures, it's worked in 13 of the past 16 years. And for the US soybean market, it's worked in 19 of the past 23 years. So again, selling short US row crop futures during the summer months is generally a profitable trading approach. And this code can help you analyze the timing and the duration of those short trades for specific markets. Now, what do I really like about this trading approach and why do I like trading seasonals in general? It's because there is a fundamental reason why these trades exist. When we get into those summer months, traders start seeing extended weather maps. They start to get more confidence that we are avoiding worst case production scenarios and traders then tend to price out that weather risk premium. So futures prices and option volatility tends to drop during the summer months. That fundamental understanding gives me the confidence that even though this is a super simple trading approach, it could continue to work going forward. Now on the flip side, what don't I like about seasonal trading? This approach is by definition over optimized. We are simply taking 20 years of data. We're optimizing what's the best date to get in. We are optimizing how many bars we should stay in that trade. There is no out of sample testing. It is burning through all of our data in sample. And we always say on this channel that out of sample performance is the gold standard by which you should evaluate a systematic trading strategy for these seasonal trading approaches. There is no out of sample performance. We are strictly evaluating this in sample. So all that said, do I think the positives outweigh the negatives? Absolutely. I think that the summer months are generally a good time to consider selling short markets like corn, Chicago wheat, Kansas wheat, and soybeans. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about seasonal trading? Is there anything you would add to these trading systems? Maybe an additional risk management feature like a stop loss or a take profit? Would you consider buying futures in markets like sugar or cattle during the summer months where seasonals are actually more bullish? Do you have a different or better trading approach for seasonals? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss 
out on more great strategy of the month videos from Peak Trading Research. Have a fantastic start to your summer. Good luck trading those seasonal trends and we'll see you soon.